Okay, we, now we need to mount this master cast to this Panadent articulator, uh, semi-adjustable, that we use here at the U of M. It's set up so that the pin is where it's supposed to be, flush with the black line, okay, fully seats on the table here, and the centric lock is locked back in this posterior part so that it can't slide into any excursives, okay. And it goes up and down. The student or instructor took the face bow properly, angled this way so that this pin doesn't hit the knobs. If they take it so that this is out here angled, then this pin is interrupted by that knob. Okay, and it goes up and down. All right, so I blocked out where the pins are on this cast. I Vaseline the grooves. And I soak the rest of it for a minute or so just so it sticks while I want it to. With the Vaseline on the grooves, we can remove it if we, if we need to after it's mounted. Okay, that fully seats down. So I've got water in the bowl. I'm going to use a little bit of quick set plaster. I'm not measuring out. I know the consistency I want. Okay, with quick set, it can be a little bit runny. Make sure I got a good mix. The consistency is about like that. That's right where I want it. Okay, apply it in to the ring. Make sure you get it in these two little tabs, which is where the retention is for these particular magnet mounted rings. Fully cover the cast, all edges of it, so we don't have any voids. We may want to electrical tape this back on if we have to remove the cast from the mount. Okay, so I want it fully covered that way. Okay, from here I can close it down, all the way down till the pin is on the table. I've got way excess plaster, but I can take and remove that. Notice I'm not doing this with my fingers. I'm keeping my fingers out of it. Once it gets halfway set up, I'll refine it a little bit more and smooth things out. But for the time being, I want to let it set up a little. And then once it's halfway set, then I can take and, and smooth it out with a little bit of water. Okay, now I got an initial set. It's not real soft, but it's not fully set. I can gently lift this up. Right. Go right here in this little groove and stick my knife in there and remove the magnet mount like that. And from here, I can go under the faucet. I use a green scrubby. And smooth that out. Okay. When it sets a little bit more, I'm going to take a number seven wax spatula and I'm going to pull this wax out so we have access to the pins. Okay. So I've related the lower cast to the upper. The upper we had already mounted with the with the face bolt. So I sent them in uh, maximum IP by hand. I put some marks where the teeth come together so that if they deviate from that we know. And that's what these marks are. And I've got three or four of those marks placed. I've put them together with hot glue gun and tongue blades okay, and held them together. And after I do that I don't ever hang it upside down and just let the cast hang there. I always keep it so that gravity is going to hold it together. Okay, we Vaseline the grooves. I put a wet towel on here for a minute just to help the rest of this outside of here stick. Well, we want it to stick. If we want it to be removable, it will remove because we Vaseline the grooves. Okay, we went to and exchanged the baseball table to the blue uh, table for the panadent. My pin is still set at zero, and the lock, centric lock position is still in place. So nothing changed that way except for the table. And we put the mounting ring on. Okay. So I'm back, I've got water in the bowl already. I'm back to quick set plaster, which is Snow White number two impression plaster. It's uh, 
made to set up. It's actually made for impressioning. Okay, water in the bowl first, and I'm going to mix this so it's a little runnier than normal. Not real thick. And this quick set is going to set up in a matter of about initial set and maybe two minutes to three minutes. So I'm going to mix it up fairly quickly, like that, and apply it to the ring to make sure I get some underneath those little tabs here on the sides and around that little button. Completely fill it. Then I'm going to cover the cast, and I'm going to cover the entire surface of the cast. Because I want the plaster to go all the way to the edges, so if we need to, we can tape it after this is all done. I want to do this all in one shot. I don't want to do this uh, part of it and then add to it. Okay, I know what how much space I've got, so that should about do it. So from there, I can close this down all the way until the pin touches and my plaster is pliable enough that it will squish down. From there I can take a knife or a spatula and remove the excess. I don't get in here with my fingers. And you want to catch this while it's still soft. And all the time I'm holding it together. And I'll get it as smooth as I can. After this is set up, then we'll remove the wax around the ends of the pins, just like we did on the upper. And we'll remove the tongue blades that are holding the upper to the lower. So it's looking like that right now. It's starting to set up. Okay. It's still soft, but it's not runny. And from here, I can fill in any little gaps and voids. And from there, I'm going to take it right over to the sink. Take my blue scrubby again, put it under, right under the water, and smooth it out. So that's going to look like that. And I can smooth out the back. And then after you got a full, full set, if you want to uh, sandpaper and get it a little smoother, you can. But that's what we've got for now.